welcome back. I'm going to show you a DIY Valentine's craft or decoration. And first what you're going to need is a surface to put it on and a cute kitty to watch you. You're going to need some cardboard, a lot more than this, but you get the idea. You're going to need streamers from the Dollar Tree. This is red and pink. You're going to need all-purpose glue and some scissors. And the last two things you'll need are these little clothespins from the Dollar Tree and this rope twine from the Dollar Tree. For step one of this project, step one is that you're going to cut out some hearts out of the cardboard. And they don't have to be perfect. You can draw them beforehand, but I just free-handed, freehand cut mine. And I used a Cheetos box, so these are the ones I cut. Once you have one or two, you can kind of like use them as a guide, but I didn't tape mine down or anything. And then I've got this shape. It's a little more pointy. And then I have these little ones here. Your next step after you, your next step after you get the hearts cut out is to ar arrange them how you want them. And then you're going to take your streamers and you're going to cut strips of these streamers. So next I cut strips of the streamers and I didn't measure them. It doesn't matter how long they are really. Um, if you want to measure, measure by this, gauge it by this, it's almost the length of two of these, but I would even rather about maybe like five inches. You're going to make a bunch of those. I didn't count these and I didn't measure exactly, but once you have a pretty decent sized pile here, this is probably maybe like 80 strips. We're going to start putting them on each of these cardboard hearts. The next thing you'll need to do is cut all of these in half so that they end up being a piece more like this. This piece is about two and a half inches wide. It doesn't even need to be that, I mean long. It doesn't even need to be that long. We need it like, yeah, that's pretty good. About two and a half inches. Yeah. That's pretty good. So you can pick up quite a few of these and just cut them right there, right in the middle. Here's my next pile of long ones. I know that's pretty close up. Let me back up here. There we go. So here's my next pile of long ones. Just clip it in the middle, snip it in the middle, I mean. And then my next pile, long ones. Snip it in the middle. As you can see, I have a really nice big pile going now. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take our glue and take one of the hearts and we're going to put the glue all over the heart. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put the glue all over the heart. I asked my boys if they wanted to help and they said no. So, basically doing this just so you can see me do it. But I'm going to go ahead and do this and then come back when I've got it glued. Now that I'm satisfied, I have it covered with glue in the way I want it. I'm going to take one of these strips and I'm going to pinch it in the middle. It does not have to be perfect, but if I had an assistant, I could do this better. And then you're just going to... And pinch it and then just stick it on here. It doesn't have to be perfect. You want it to look messy. So just pinch pinch it. Stick it on. We want it to have texture. We want it to be loose. We want some of the pieces to be coming off. Um, you can just squish it like an accordion almost. 
just place it on there. We don't need them to be too uniform or too perfect. And as you can see, they get covered pretty fast, so it doesn't take that many pieces of paper to cover it. You can go back and add more <clears throat> glue at any time. See, I just started this, and now I'm almost completely covered the thing. And then you decide how much red you want versus how much pink you want. I really don't care. So I'm just kind of pushing it down into my work surface and then plopping it on. And I think it's going to have to take a couple layers to cover up the the fact that this was a Cheetos box. So anywhere that I can still see Cheeto stuff through it, I'm going to have to put more glue. That's why I have so many of these in my pile. But I'm going to go ahead and cover up this first one so you can see how to do it. Okay, this is what it ends up looking like, and I'm just going to let it dry for now. And you can see there's not much of a heart shape to it anymore, but as it dries, um, I'm going to be able to form it into its heart shape a little bit by like pressing down around the edges again. And then you do all the rest of them. And then when you're done... Okay, this is the hearts when they're all done. That took me about 12 minutes, I want to say. And I did have to stop a couple times to get a cat down from where he was climbing. So I'm going to let these continue drying. And then I'm either going to shape and squish them more into their heart shape with my hands. Or maybe I might just take a scissors and cut around the edges. So that the texture stays in the front but is not around the edges. So I've just decided to squish these back into place. Kind of, <clears throat> excuse me making the corners round again, squishing them back into place. And over time, these are gonna get a lot more squished. And so what you're gonna be left with is fairly flat pieces of streamers. It's still going to be textured, but they're gonna be fairly flat and they're gonna look homemade and they're gonna look endearing. And it's gonna be definitely something that people can tell you made with your family. And that's the look I'm going for today. I can't take credit for this idea. I went to my friend's house and she had one up and I barely glanced at it. I didn't ask her how she did it. Um, I didn't study it carefully or anything. I just barely glanced at it. So I did know what she used, like what supplies she used, but I didn't know how she did it. So honestly, if she were to watch this video, she might be like, oh, that is so not how you do it. But for me, I'm deciding that this works. And so... You just work these into place, and if there are any places that need another uh, pinched up piece of streamers, you go ahead and fix that. And when they're all dry, you get ready to string them on your rope string. The next step is to take your rope twine from the Dollar Tree and start pulling from the middle because the end is going to come popping out somewhere from the middle. And then you go measure the space that you want to hang up this semi-circle like hanging down banner garland in your house and then you're going to cut the string to be a little bit longer than that so that it can hang without uh, being straight across. So once you have your rope twine to the length that you want it you're going to take your clothespins and your hearts and some nails or tacks and you're going to take all of your stuff to the space where you're going to hang it where you're going to display it and finish assembling it there so it may not look like much right now but i've got the twine the rope twine where i want it i just put it up with little thumbtacks above the lines here with a little bit hanging down so i made a slip knot on either end even though the light isn't that good, we have the finished product, ladies and gentlemen. So, I clipped them up there with the little clothespins. Hopefully you can see that. See that little clothespin up there? This is all the light I have in the living room right now. One of the light bulbs burned out. You can see the little clothespins. And as you can tell, the shape of the hearts doesn't really matter very much. And Mr. Kitty wants to get into it. And I can't let you. I just can't let you take those and hurt those. 
Kitty, kitty, kitty. Say hi, everyone. All right, thanks for watching. Have fun if you make this craft. Let me know how it goes. And if you stayed to the end, let's see. What did the letter say to the stamp? He said, stick to me and we'll go places. So hopefully you heard that joke if you stayed all the way to the end. And also if you stayed till the end, let me know if you're ready for Halloween and what you're most looking forward to doing for your Halloween celebration. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next time. Here, let me put on my flash. That'll help. Oh, much better. Okay. Much, much better. And I can see I need that second one. I need to turn it a little bit. It's a little too rigid on the, on the twine here. I'll have to fix that one in a minute. That's better. Oh, much better. Yeah, I had forgotten. I had turned my flash off, but that's really cute. I like how it turned out. There it is. Very cute. All right, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.